Okay, so let me turn this down just a little. Okay, there we go. So we have our Apache DS server running. Um, we've looked at it with JXplorer. We've loaded some data into it. <coughs> okay, and we have some users. We have some officers and seamen. Uh, of course, not everyone is listed in, in these, but we have enough to test our um, connections to make sure that we're authenticating with these. Um, the other thing, too, is um, by default, when you load up the data that comes from Apache, all the passwords are PASS, P-A-S-S, -S, and I think that says it in one of the files. So, um, so let's try logging in as one of our officers. So we have Horatio Hornblower. Um, it's doing a lookup by UID, so um, let's go get Horatio's UID which is here. Okay, we have our Tomcat running and we have okay, let's see, we do that and pass. See if it works. Yes. Alright, now we know he's an administrator because we have the administrator panel and of course we have all the other stuff that we've seen before. Now if we go look at our Tomcat log, wherever that might be, we could see what was going on here. So you could see where it's mapping the role, role officer, and we matched it to role admin. Okay. And um, um, by default, well, not by default, but I have it coded so that um, role user is an additional role. So everybody gets role user, but only if you authenticate. Um, if you can't authenticate, of course, you don't get any roles at all. You fail. Um, but the code is set up in such a way that you can make it so that if the user authenticates and they don't have a role in their LDAP server, which is possible, they would automatically get role user at, at a minimum. So, um, so I just wanted you to see what the log looks like here and then we're now we're going to go take a look at how this is all going on. So you see here, if you look at the log, we're getting our additional roles, okay? We're getting roles from the LDAP server, basically, and then we're mapping them to a user context, and then this is all getting plopped into a session so that um, Spring can authenticate you and, you know, log you in, and then that's who you are. That's your credentials for the life of your session here. So let's go take a look at the code. Okay, so we have some JDBC properties I've been using actually it says a CG because I've been using these since AppFuse a CG days um, the upside is is every time I upgrade the config file gets smaller and smaller so that's kinda cool so what I'm doing here is of course is we have a manager DN where we're going to authenticate to the server as the um, admin that's the admins password um, here's the LDAP URL and this is our base um, root context here. This is what we're going to use. So everything is going to be based here. So when we look up a user, it's going to start here. And then, of course, we're going to get all of our roles from this um, DN. Okay, so it's groups and ranks. If you go back and look at it in JXplorer, you see it's um, ranks and groups. So groups and ranks. It's going to be reverse when you put in the DN. Okay, so so every well, when we go to look up groups, we're going to look up people that are unique members of these um, ranks. Okay, that's how it's going to work. So um, let's go back to here. Okay. So and then what we're doing is when we read the LDAP server groups, if your group in the LDAP server is role officer, you will be mapped to role admin. See, this is a one-to-one -one thing. Basically, these this comma separated list is going to get loaded into an array and then I'm going to take the guy that I get from the LDAP server and then match him up to this one that we specify here. So this is how we're mapping LDAP to app views. And of course you can go on as many as you want and give them to whoever you want. And like I said, if you authenticate and everybody will get this. Now this could be role under bar extra role, it could be anything you want it to be that you've created in your um, security configuration here. So basically I'm trying to stick with the AppFuse settings. Okay. So um, another thing too is I have this, you see it's empty, the default role. Um, if you have a situation where the the LDAP server doesn't have that person in a group, then you can get them here. So if you want everybody to be able to log in, assuming they have correct user ID and password, you can just put role user here and then forget about all of it. And that's all you need to do. So let's take a look now at our security XML. 
Okay, so this stuff here is the same for um, app views no matter what you do. Um, so what we're doing here is we have an authentication manager and our provider is this reference. Okay, now if you look at it, it's basically this. Okay, so the authentication provider is made up of this built-in class, the, auth the LDAP authentication provider right from Spring and we're going to auto-wire that up and basically what we're doing is is of course you know these are just classes and these um, values here are basically setting up constructors that get passed into these classes so if you went and looked at the Java doc for let's say this you would see that the constructor takes a bind authenticator and then of course if you look at the bind authenticator its constructor takes an LDAP server which we're defining here and we're just referencing it here and then one of the properties of the bind authenticator is a user search and that's what we have here and here we're telling it you know here's how we're going to do the lookup so we're going to look up in the LDAP server a UID that matches that um, person we just logged in with in this case it was Hornblower okay and then the bind authenticator now is then going to use that search along with the LDAP server credentials to authenticate that user and their password okay and now if the authentication works then um, the LDAP authentication provider will also run the auth populator okay and basically what this is going to do here is go out and look up the groups in the LDAP server and we're telling them here where we can do that okay here's the filter we're getting anyone that's in these groups okay and we're getting um, the groups the CN value of the group itself okay and then in the JDBC properties this is where we told them to look it up so that's the group DN and we're passing that in right here so this is how we're telling the LDAP server to go where to go find all the groups okay and match it up to the user that we found and then get the groups for that user and then once that happens then we have our code here that runs our context mapper that basically maps it to a user context so we can take custom fields out of the LDAP server and plop them into our own um, LDAP user details which is basically what this is so yeah actually let's go bring that up so we have a model which is basically our user details now AppFuse comes with one and it already does user details but I didn't want to make muck around with there so I just created a new one called LDAP user and you see here it, it looks very similar to the one that comes with AppFuse okay it's user details and it has all the same fields okay so now let's take a look at the code so here's the authorities populator so this is our custom implementation of the authorities populator and basically what we're doing is just creating a new default LDAP populator and all of the setters and the getters and the constructors are basically taking the values coming from the config file and rebuilding it here and creating a new guy here so then finally what happens is we call into get granted authorities okay and then so here we call get additional roles and we pass in the authorities we just got back from the user and here is where we do our mapping okay so when you looked at that log we saw that I was checking the role okay we got role um, let's see so we got role officer and then when we went and looked it up in our map to see who he matched up to we said he matched up to role admin and then we gave him role admin so this is how we're matching the roles up from LDAP to um, AppFuse okay now once we match them all up it, when we come back if we actually have roles then we decide here whether or not what we want to do with the default values okay so if we don't have any roles then we see if we have a default role if we don't have a def if we have a default role we give it to you if we don't we set a dummy one called role fail which will cause spring to to kick you out and you'll have to and the authentication will fail because that role isn't mapped to anything so this is how we map up the roles now once the roles have been mapped and everything looks good there then what will happen is spring will um, call our um, details mapper and pass in the user information along with the authorities okay and in here what we're doing is we're just getting the mail attribute from the LDAP user record and putting it into our LDAP user record and then getting the given name and the surname and the telephone number and basically creating our own 
um, LDAP user information from the data we got from the LDAP server. Now later on you might want to write some code that gets access to this LDAP user details that we've stashed away in the session so that you can do things like display the email address on the screen like we do I think here okay and you can you know and of course you might want to use that also there's um, tags that you can use for spring security and they're actually used in um, AppFuse already to determine whether or not you get those menus and whether or not you can see certain parts of a page so th again that's why I try to map them back to the AppFuse role so that we don't have to muck with all the code that's already set up and doing those things okay so um, all this is supplied in the download that you can get um, actually I'm gonna have to zip this up because originally I had this set up for um, Active Directory and I just recently flipped it over to Apache DS so um, I'm going to upload a new version of um, this project today and so you'll have all of these things here now another thing I do is you see here I have different security files and then of course the default well um, this one's already been saved so now what I'll do is I'll take um, if I don't want to use LDAP and I want to go back to the local all I have to do is copy this guy and then go over here and delete all this and paste it in so all three all of these are in CVS you know but then I can flip back and forth um, from the to that to the kind of security I want to use you know what's convenient for where I'm at you know so if I'm away from home and I'm on my laptop and I don't have access to my virtual machine you know I might want to use the local security but of course I won't have my database either so that's a whole nother can of worms but anyway um, that's how LDAP works um, with uh, AppFuse.